Pretty young and pretty and... What do you want him about? Yeah, show him. Mommy's dead. I'm tremendously impressed. Perhaps it's my mission to interview. Good morning, everybody. So, yesterday, I was trying um, a session, but somebody walked in. And I was talking about this box. I was thinking about letting it go. I've been using it for five or six months now. It's, um, it's all custom. It broke because I had to take it apart because I, 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 I blew something. Not, I ended up blowing something inside of it because I plugged it in wrong and I had to take it apart again. In doing so, I had to change out the amp. So this thing looks rough, but it's supposed to look rough. It wasn't supposed to look this rough, but after putting the amp in, I had no choice but to mount it the way I did. Discouraging because it's true. Discouraging because it's true, yes. But um, it works terrific. It's got lights galore if you're into lights. <laughs> it's got a nice um, colored EQ. On the back of it, there's a hole. Some things that you run through your phone or maybe even some handheld radios that you might want to put through it don't have the power or enough signal to punch those EQ levels up so you could put your hand in the hole in the back and there's a little switch on the unit that's in there and you can change the intensity of the light and the way the EQ responds all with one button so other than that you've got a reverb, a delay, and this was a compressor, it's taken out, it didn't work, all it did was, um, it actually presented more noise than it was supposed to take out, you know, it, it didn't, it didn't work well with the static cutter over there, so that's what you got, a static cutter, a reverb, and a delay, you've got Bluetooth on here, but remember, when you're using Bluetooth, you cannot use your effect pedals, so when you buy a radio, I don't care what they say, there is no way possibly you can use effect pedals with your Bluetooth. So some people have in the past shot me down because I don't have Bluetooth on my radios. There's no point. Unless you have an app that you're running through the Bluetooth that has effects on it, you're not going to be able to use your effects on the radio. Simple as that. There's no input. You're using Bluetooth. You have to have a physical input in order to, to use your pedals. So this one does have Bluetooth. Thought it has AM FM radio which will not work it's not meant to listen to Casey Kasem does anybody know Casey Kasem is anymore <laughs> well it's not meant to listen to music it's it's made for spirit communication everything is mono and when you plug in a unit you want to make sure you have a mono plug so if you have a stereo plug you're going to lose signal and it's going to sound really low and no matter how much you turn it up it's not going to it's not going to sound right so I asked the spirits yesterday if I should sell this radio and I did hear let it go you guys agree I, I, I told the spirits that I was making this radio for them but you know every every build I built five or six radios after this and uh, every build I learned something a little more and I want a little more out of it so um, I was thinking about building another one should I sell it or keep it what's the difference <laughs> well there is a difference because somebody else may want it if I must I guess they're going to leave it up to me by the sounds of things. So who's here with me right now? Please, please come through. You're here? Who's here? Can I have your name, please? These are brand new files, you guys. I just made them last night. I used five 1930 to 1937 movies and I chopped them up because that's what works well in here. 
I also have files that are that are audio books that are you know. He took my soul. They don't have that 30 sound, that old movie sound. Go on, Alan, beat it. But in here, in this shop, in this room, it tends to work well. So we'll see how well these work. And I've noticed another thing. I know I'm just freaking yapping over top of this. Hold on, you guys. I noticed another thing, that when you're chopping movies, you can't do 200 milliseconds. You can't do 250. I went to 400. You can't even do four. I mean, you can if you just want to get a tiny... See? It's all you're going to get is a little... <laughs> I'm between 800 and 1,000 milliseconds, or 999, that's as far as it'll let you go. Just to get those little tiny clips. So when you're doing movies where, where there's pauses and there's, there's noises, there's ambient noises in the background, there's, there's pauses in between speech. I don't know what it is. You have to be at 1,000 milliseconds. Maybe, maybe you can get away with 700, I don't know. But I got up to 600, and I'm like, wow, this is just not working. And I cranked it right up to 850, and it, it sounded better. And this, this, ra this radio cranks. And what you're going to notice up here is that I have two amber lights. When anything, when anything passes behind the radio, any kind of movement, those amber lights are going to go off, and you'll know that there's a spirit close. Well, you'll know that there's a person close too if they walk behind it. If there's anybody in the shop with me right now, will you please show the people that when you walk behind it, the amber lights can go on, that they will go on? Please. I don't like asking them to do things. I just think it's kind of a crappy thing to do, <laughs> but. If they're willing to help me, they will do that. If not, they won't. Tommy's here. Tom is a spirit that lives in the bathroom. Is that correct, Tom? Um... Now, Janet helped me out a little bit with him. Tom was a was a black man who was lynched in the 30s. Is that correct, Tom? Um. I don't think Lewis gets along well with Tom. Just because of the time period. You know, I don't I don't hold nothing against them. They don't get along. They don't get along. Um. So the black, the black and white problem back in the 30s and the 40s. Everybody's read about it, so um, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> if you listen to my last uh, session, you will hear Lewis talking to Tom <laughs> in the way that he he the talked to him. Station. The gas station, yes, this was a gas station, and I think that that Tom is drawn to this place for some reason. He was not killed here in this town, but for some reason this place reminds him of something. And Tom doesn't like white people too much, and he has every reason to. But he must, he must like it here, and he must like me somewhat, because he screws at me a lot. Then he laughed. So I didn't know what to make of Tom at first because um, he would give me some snide little remarks over the radio and I would ignore it a lot. But as of late, I've I've um, addressed it. <laughs> so that makes Tom, Lewis, Jasper, George. Is there anybody else here that I need to know about? Everything else. How many spirits are in this shop that stay here consistently? Nobody gets changed. There's four. Okay. I guess that would be it then, huh? And I don't think that George actually stays in here. I think he stays next door, but 
I, I guess um, I don't take anything for granted. He, he may stay here too. George, can you come through? George, can you come through, please? Keep them up. Come on. Discouraging. The pleasure of a soul. We're going to pay off. The Gabby buddies. That's poor. I know these are new files. You guys may have to get accustomed to them. You may not. See when those rats showed up? Hmm. I like to let it go for just. I mean, and you will hear some things repeat. And you know. I was checking out some apps, and, and to read the comments in the app store, it's just ridiculous. People yell, it's just a bunch of random noise. They they complain that they hear repeats. Well, yeah, that's what it is. That's what you're going to hear. You're going to hear some repeating. You're going to hear random noise because that's what spirit uses to talk to us. And I have 12,000 files on here, and even I'm going to hear a repeat. But that doesn't matter. They're going to use it and manipulate it in a way that they can use it so that we can understand it and somebody's there right now thank you yes i'm good who's here who's in front of the radio or behind it who's in the world are you still there light it up again please well, thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. I can pay, but and they're going to take those phrases, those words, and they're going to put them at a time so that it's relevant. You know, people that just do this as a hobby on their phone, and they leave those nasty remarks. I, I wish that developers could take those comments off because they're irrelevant, they're nasty, they're stupid and useless. So I am interested to go home and listen through this and see how these files are working. I still have the other files that I like to use when I'm on investigations. So I just want to talk about the investigation, the last investigation. Um, Coochie has come through a couple times here for me. I had to apologize to Coochie. It wasn't that I was being rude on purpose at that investigation. I just felt different in there. And it was very strange because if you watch that investigation, I was standing up and a spirit said to me, go sit down, and I went and I sat down. <laughs> so whether that had anything to do with anything subliminal or what, I don't know. But as I sat there and I, and I watched Janet and she was talking about the spirit coochie, I was feeling a little weird, and I started calling yeah. Coochie a whore, and I, you know, I couldn't stop. I was just, I was being kind of rude. And, and I told them, I said I was watching my face back as I was going through that video, and I didn't look like me. I, I didn't act like me. Um, not only was I rude, I acted like I was enjoying being, being that way, being that cynical. So... I snapped out of it though. <laughs> As I'm not gonna tell you what So I have apologized to Coochie a couple times and she has come through my radio. And Coochie, what is your real name? Let me see. I could have been. What did you say your name was? Yes, what did you say? My name? My name is DJ. What is your real name, Coochie? I've offered to give him a lift. Black. Hi, Black. Black is a spirit down at the Virgin House. But right now, Black, I'm trying to get a hold of Coochie. Jasper, I heard Jasper. Hi, Jasper. Everybody's coming through now. Just let it run for a little bit. Coochie, what's your real name? We've got an idea of what it might be, but I want to see if we can hear it first. I understand. From the pangs of I didn't hear it, but um, K 
Kathy seems to think it might be Doris, I believe. And you know, this was only in the 50s that we're talking about, so I'm going to look back and I'm going to see if I can find it. I've already reached out to Facebook to the old timers to, to know, to find out if they knew anything about, you know, that place when it was an Elks Club and there were, there were, um, cocktail waitresses and hookers and whatever, you know. Somebody may still know who this coochie or slash Doris woman is. That's what you are. So I'm going to look out. I'm going to see if I can find out who you are, coochie. Thank you all for coming through. I'm going to shut this down. I can't see how long it's been going. I may have to edit it a little. So that's the radio, you guys. You can see it on almost any other video. If you want it, let me know. Um, look for it on either. I still haven't decided. I'll think about it. <laughs> um, but thank you all to who, to all the people who've been buying my radios, my boxes. Thank you guys from YouTube to eBay. Um, I'm up to I think 12 now, 12 radios sold. You know, I, I don't mass produce them. I don't have shells back there just waiting for parts, um, like like some people. I, I look for certain shells. I think about it for a while. I've got a radio that's sitting over there now for almost a month, and I finally decided what I wanted to do with it. Um, that's just the way it goes for me. I'm not out to look, you know, looking to make a quick buck on them. But when I do make them, I take my time, I use them for a little while, and then I put them up for what I believe is a fair price. And yes, you can use anything. You don't have to have a box. But some people like a box. I like a box. I mean, I realize everything's coming out of here. I could just plug it into any speaker. But this makes it a little more you. It's personable, you know? It's, it's, it's for you, it's yours. The spirits understand that, and you may even see orbs, anomalies flying around these radios in your videos. I'm sure I will. What are you looking for? They, they, they seem to, uh, they seem to draw to, to the radio. You never see orbs floating around your phone when you're using these. You always see them around the radio, which is kind of cool. French in my blood. Sold it in drugs. Okay, you guys, thank you all for coming through. I'm only using two channels out of the four, and I'm up to um, three quarters of the way on the speed. I like it to be a little slow. You can, of course, speed it up. I'll show you. That's all the way. It's as fast as it goes. This is every channel. I have little What up? Try up. Can you please tell me, just for clarification, what is this? And giving it back. Okay, I'll go through this later. We'll see how these files reacted with spirit. Thank you guys. Goodbye. Goodbye, spirits. Goodbye, Black. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'll talk to you later. We have some money. Go pretty far. All right,